In this tutorial, I'm going to walk you through kind of the, the little engine that kind of uh, runs a majority of, of what this looks like. This is actually developed or customized um, a theme. And what we did was customize that theme. And there's, there's, I want to show you how you can do that also. Um, the theme is called Swatch. And then under Swatch is Theme Options. And so I'm going to click on that. And what that does is it doesn't change content, but changes the way that it looks. Um, so here we are. We're under Swatch. And we're under General Settings. And then this is uh, Theme Style Sheet. This is basically wanting to give alternative colors. If you wanted to change maybe the overall look or overall colors of what this looks like. And we're using a blue. Um, I'm not sure where they get the blue from on that, but you could you could just change it to green real quick. Um, and then all you do is just go to Save Changes. And it's real easy to go back, so if you do something, it's okay. Um, and then I'm just gonna refresh the page. And so it kind of gives it a green, a green look, but I'm gonna go back to uh, blue. And it saved, I'm gonna reload the page. And so it kind of that's what the blue here, blue you know blue in different areas. So here's our logo to um, upload a logo, and here's the one that we're using. And the reason it, this is the preview, but you can't see it because our logo is white and this box is white. So you would just hit upload, select a, an image that you want. This is to enable a, a title text instead of this image. If we wanted to just have text there, if we just wanted to have Mid Illinois Big Brothers Big Sisters, we could just do that. Click there, um, Favicon to change the Favicon, and the Favicon is this little icon up here that shows up. It's a small 16 by 16 image, and it kind of just if you if somebody saves it in in their uh, bookmarks, puts that icon next to it, it shows up there. It's kind of more of a branding, and then this is the tracking code for Google Analytics, which we don't put it in here. But we actually um, we actually put it in a different area so that it, we track it. And this is the RSS, which we don't use. And this is email URL, um, which we don't we're not we're not using that because um, we're not sending out a feed of the website. All that. Here's the contact where the contact form. If somebody fills out a contact form on the website, here's the name um, that that goes to. Customs medium S, none of this, none of this. Um, the next one, styling options. This is just to change the color of backgrounds, background image, change the color of links. Uh, typography is just to change the, the color of words, what font we're using. I have we haven't messed with any of that. You can just leave that or you can edit it. Here's the main layout. Um, and right now we're on this one, which shows the we go to a page. Here's the majority of contents on the left, and then what they call here is the widgets on the right. And that's what this is saying is content on the left, widgets on the right. Or you could select this and say, and it flips it. Um, homepage sliders. So on the homepage, we're using, right now we're using six sliders that, that slide across. That's these. And so this is saying, do you want to use the sliders? And so we check mark and said yes. And this is saying, select the number of sliders that you want. And we've got six. We wanted to do six, so we did that. S the effect that we do the slide, we could slide it or it could fade. Um, and then it's saying if you hover your mouse over this, it will pause. We have it on that it won't pause. The anim the speed of it. Do you want it to automatically slide? Um, the time in each second the slide pauses before sliding to the next one. Um, the height, all those sort of things are in there. Now to the home page. This is saying, do we want to enable the many features, which we have? And you can uncheck that if you don't. Um, this is just saying if you want to change this home page to look like some other page, then you can select what page. We don't do that. We don't use portfolio. We don't use feedback. We don't use dynamic images. We're not using the footers. The sub subscribe and connect we are using. And what that is, that shows up right here. That's what this is, this sub subscribe and connect. And it shows up on our pages. It gives them the ability to, to
to sign up for our email newsletter, to, to go to our social media websites. And so what that is, um, so I put, got the title here, uh, no tech, we didn't do any text on it, and then we just subscribe by email, here's the code for them to subscribe to MailChimp, Twitter, Facebook, um, all those. So anytime, and that's how you change kind of the overall look or how, how things position and where they look and the colors they are. And then once you're done editing, just hit save changes. But that's how to kind of edit the theme and kind of the overall appearance of the website.